Hello, my name is Charles Sims, and I am an emeritus faculty member at the University at Buffalo School of Social Work. I teach in the MSW program there, and I've been teaching in the program for more than 20 years. I've been teaching online in the program since 2011. I've taught a variety of courses over the years, both seated and online. My primary area of, of interest is addictions. And I feel strongly about preparing social workers, social work students and social workers to provide, uh, to work with that particular population. In this video, I'm going to try to describe an assignment that I've used. I'm always looking for and trying to or trying to create assignments that include skill development that students can take into their professional practice. This course is a course designed to introduce students more comprehensively um, to the issue of substance use disorders that their clients may be facing. To that end, the course covers a variety of topics, including understanding what substance use disorders are, interventions, research, and policy issues. As we know, the field is changing and our, and our, uh, the people that we work with are, are, are part of that change. And the introduction or the use of uh, technology is becoming increasingly important. Uh, one of the things I try to get students to, to uh, become more familiar with are apps as the population that we are working with often have smartphones or have access to smartphones or been involved with uh, tablets so they have some feeling of comfort around using that type of technology um, with their, with, um, in their lives, in their daily lives. Sober Grid is an app um, that practitioners can recommend to their clients who are working on sobriety. The app helps provide the recovery, recovering person with a way to track their abstinence, track their abstinence, abstinence, I can say that, and connect and share with other app users who are also um, seeking sobriety. Someone using the app can find individuals locally or globally who will celebrate their accomplishments and support them in their recovery process. And in using the app, they can do the same. The app can be used by the practitioner to help track progress with, their, with the person that they're working with. The app could be useful for a practitioner or for a particular client in either in, as, uh, in individual settings or even in conjunction with support groups or in group settings that the uh, social worker may find themselves working with. In this particular course, there are a number of specific objectives. One of them asks students to learn about the process of recovery. And I have students attend meetings However, students must be aware of all the potential resources available to the recovering person. In the past, technology in recovery has pretty much been limited to uh, telephones and online meetings. But as I said earlier, we know that the use of smartphones and tablets has become ubiquitous. So apps available for the devices could be an important addition to uh, a person's recovery plan. However, before suggesting their use, the professional should understand what the app is, what it does, its strengths, and its limitations. A good way to do this is to have students evaluate the, an app, and that's the assignment. How to help students think about and evaluate apps that they might use in their particular practice. I provide a, an evaluation process or an evaluation framework for them. Uh, I ask them to install and to 
uh, work with the app for a prescribed period of time, usually a couple of weeks, so they have an opportunity to really um, uh, play with and become familiar with the app. And then I ask them to evaluate it using the, the framework that I provide. The student learns about a resource that they can learn, they can use and practice, what it does, and what it doesn't do well, as well as learn a process to evaluate apps that they can take into their professional practice. I tried this assignment this past year and the, uh, with a particular student, and they reported that they really enjoyed it. They liked the practical nature of the assignment and ended the assignment with, and ending the assignment with something that they can use immediately in their, in their particular area of practice. In fact, the Sober Grid app review on this site was based on a work done by the student who reviewed the app. You might also want to think about how you could expand that process with, the, with students, such as maybe offering um, students an opportunity to include their review in a course learning site. I give students wide latitudes with these kinds of assignments. They can choose whatever app they wish as long as the app is substance use or recovery specific. I also make sure that students are clear about the evaluation format. So I, um, in giving that to them, I go over that with them so that they really get a sense of about what I'm looking for, but how to think about evaluating apps. Um, the student I work with, the students I work with are graduate students. So if you work with undergraduate students, you might want to take a bit more time with the structure and, and a con conversation about specific specificity about what kinds of apps that you might want um, that person to look for. There are lots of apps out there. Some are more specific to uh, addictions and recovery than others. But it's an important part of the assignment, I think, is giving the students some freedom to stretch themselves and to really um, reach beyond themselves rather than me spoon feeding them around what apps they can and can't use. So if you can, if you can point them in the right direction and let them go, um, you might be surprised or we might be surprised about what they come back with. I want to close with this idea of um, that this kind of work really, I think, is going to become very important to working with individuals who have substance use disorders. Uh, we're finding more and more uh, technology becoming involved in the treatment of, um, as well as the training of, well, the treatment of the clients and the training of the professional. So the more that students can become involved in the process of, of thinking about um, these kinds of apps critically, I think it'll be the better off for the profession. Thanks, good luck.